not here to take part. We're here to take over. I am the beast. Good evening, everybody, live from Glacier Peak High School in Snohomish, Washington. It's high school prep boys basketball on STSPN. Scott Oshman joined along with Ron the Wedge. Henthorne, Ronnie, how are you tonight? Hey, I'm really good tonight, Scott. I'm looking forward to a really, really tough ball game and a fun ball game to watch is going to be. It's the 4A matchup that is a time-honored tradition just down the road. Jackson, the Timberwolves come in to the den here at Glacier Peak, and you can see the students wearing white for Glacier Peak and the dark black and green for the visiting Timberwolves. This has been a matchup all since the dawn of, of Glacier Peak in 2008, Ron, and it doesn't matter who's on the court, it always is high drama, high entertainment, and good level of basketball. It definitely done me a good level of basketball. And you mentioned the, the students out here tonight. I've never seen this many students out for a basketball game. There's over 200 students from GP and over 200 from Jackson here, well, this, plus the GP band, so. This is old school, man. This is yeah. the days if, if for Jackson fans of Kingma. Back in the day, Jason Todd, all those guys, they had the rafters up. I'll never forget the first time I came to GP and I couldn't barely get in the gym. There were so many people for a Jackson Glacier Peak game. Glacier Peak 2-0 in the conference, 8-1 overall. They're tied with Mariner, who is the Cinderella story this year. Jackson coming off a loss from Mariner, 73-53. And Jackson now in third place, one and one in the league, ten and two overall, Ron. And so, so it's still early because games are all over the place. Yeah. Mariners got what did you say, twelve games in the books or so? They've got uh, yeah, fourteen games in the books. Fourteen. So yeah. because of cancellations, because of everything, the big news coming out just our great work by you, Ronnie. You're a, you're a top-notch journalist. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> What's well, a huge deal for Glacier Peak, the phenom freshman, Joe Lee, who had 26 versus Lake Stevens. Right. He is a scratch tonight. He's, he's scratched, yep. And the starters being announced here in the black uniforms, number zero, Evan Bates, the 5'11 senior, matching up for Aiden Davis, the 5'8 senior for Glacier Peak. And number one, Velou, Drillin Velou, the 5'10 senior for Jackson. And it's AJ Klein, the senior. They did senior night before the ball game. Six, five, senior there for Klein, who's been playing well. And number three, Henry Armstrong, played some good minutes, six foot senior. And they're gonna start number 11, Adam Thomas, he has been Great addition, the Rock 5'8 senior for Glacier Peak, you see on your screen. Bradley Tharp, he led Jackson. He's coming out here, number 15, or excuse me, number four, but he had 15 against the Mariner. And here's Tory Watkins, the glass man. Ronnie looking for him to scrape the boards. Yep, he's going to be out there really big, and so here's the tall boy. Here is 6'6", six, six, Silas Williams. He threw it down on STSBN a year ago, two years ago. He's still a type of dandy, baby. Still only a junior. So he's going to he's going to be good for a couple of dunks tonight. You think? I I call him up. I'm going to dial up a dunk as the other senior leader, six four, Bobby Sieber, is doing it all again. He had 26 late against Lake Stevens over the big win, 72-4. We got a ball game coming up here tonight, Scott. It's hot in the gym. Tory Watkins, Dad, I'll tell you that story when we come back. You can almost smell those fresh ground beans. Airfield Espresso at Harvey Field has been serving delicious cups of gourmet happiness for over 25 years. Excellent service and lasting relationships is their top priority. Stop in and experience the kindness and joy that exude from this special place, one cup at a time. We are all frustrated with the high cost of heating and cooling our homes. At GNS, we are completely changing the way you keep your home comfortable. Because we are Snohomish County's premier Lennox dealer, we can design a perfect system for you. One that will save you a lot of money on your utility bill. 
The Lennox Home Comfort System creates the ideal home environment. Enjoy innovation in every season with precise, quietly efficient Lennox heat pumps that keep your life simply perfect. Call GNS Heating, Cooling, and Electric today or visit us at gsheating.com. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. We got Bob Blair, the great PA announcer here, Scott Oshman, Ron the Wedge, Hentor, Todd Elvig, our executive producer, spinning the dials, and Sarah Elvig on camera doing an awesome job as always. And, and not to forget the guys down there in the striped shirts tonight, Scott. Uh, Evan Churlin, Brandon Moen, and Tony Churlin. They're down there, and I talked to Evan earlier, and he said, uh, this is going to be a really good game tonight. He, he knows this is the Crosstown rivalry, and he said, we're going to keep things under control. Big time conference right now. It's a small one now in 4A Wesco. Not a lot of room in the budding Mariners, the Marauders, who Glacier Peak faces next week, next Tuesday, right here on STSBN. Be watching as here's the tip. Williams, Watkins, and GP gets it, and that's Aiden. Davis. Steve Johnson, the head coach for many, many, many years for the Jackson Timberwolves. Brian Hunter coming in strong is Thomas. And he opens up the scoring right back the other way is Valu loses it. Tharp in the corner gets it back to Valu. Back up and in. By number one, Grilla, Villeneuve. Trading baskets, one on one. Boy, they're letting him get inside, Ronnie, deep. Yeah. Spin it. Again, Joe Lee had four three pointers against Lake Stevens. He was our player of the game. We did the game here against Federal Way. Thomas, back door. Three on the shot clock, it's a turnover. Here come the Timberwolves, Armstrong, deep, Bates. Whoa, Not ball. there, Silas though, right there, but he traveled. I think he was surprised. Surprised he got the ball so clean, he just took a couple steps turning around the there. 2-2 so. two, two tie, 6.52 left, just table. tipped off here in the first quarter, 2-2. Two, two. Just feeling things out down there so far. See if GP can get it inside again. Thomas coming back out around. There's Siebers. They're going to need a lot from Siebers. Thank you. Again, Joe Lee dropping 20 plus oh. a game. They're going to make up for his scoring. Nice drop pass there to Klein. It's tipped out with five seconds on the shot clock. Had uh, Watkins open in the middle and he had his head down dribbling. Didn't look up and see him there. So, got to keep your head up, young man. Thomas the senior. They got to get it off quick. And Klein goes to the hardwood. Here's Watkins, four. Siebers launches. Not there, but Klein with a rebound and off ball call. And it's going to go Timberwolves' way. Number five. And they're going to call it call on Klein. His first, team's first. Well, like I said, uh, Evan's going to keep control down there. So a little push and a little shoving going get, to get, get called right away. Jackson, that loss, they, they have a lot of height. They have a lot of experience this year. Tharp goes into Silas. Oh, yeah. That's big man to big man. It goes out, and Klein comes down. How did he miss that? On the doorstep. He could have let, drunk that one. Here comes Thomas back the other way. Deep three. Not there for Davis. Aiden. Here comes Armstrong, pushing. Corner Bates, drives, pops. Silas off for the three front rim. Davis with the rebound. Three's yeah. not dropping yet, Ronnie. No, Jackson's shooting percentage is a little bit off right now. 
Klein thinks about it. Uh, normally Klein might take that shot, but not early in the game. A little bit of a mismatch from Watkins down there. Here's Sievers looking for something. 10 on the shot clock. Thomas to the rack. No foul. Klein rebound. Thomas and it ends up in Sarp's hand. And oh no, they cannot take this. Thomas short his knee. Oh Looks boy. Like he went down pretty hard. So Head coach Brian Hunter, the only coach that this school has seen. <laughs> He's walking out there to check on his player, 5'8", the senior. And they don't, they don't go deep, Ronnie. They pulled some kids up from JV. Yeah, they're, they're not going to be uh, good with uh, Thomas out of there and uh, already short not having Joe Lee out there. So hopefully Thomas will be able to get up and get back in here. But right now I think he hit his knee pretty hard. So he's not getting up quick. 2-2. Two, two. The, the trainer's down there going, get up. Get up! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully he just hopefully he just banged his knee and not yeah, not twisted I sure hope it. So. Hope two two, good. five oh seven left in the first quarter here. A key key game here. There's there's not that many conference games this season, and with all the cancellations and all the different stuff going. Yeah. It uh, uh, yep. here's he's up. This is great news. He looks like he's walking off just a little. Hopefully he's okay. A little bit of a limp there. We'll see how long it takes to work that out if it does. And hopefully he'll uh, be back in here in a little while. We'll see who uh, Brian's going to put in there. We got uh, Valmonte. Reggie Valmonte, the senior, comes out. Great on the football field as well. And here we're back at it here. Tharp now on the elbow. Stops, pops. Oh. Watkins, the glass man there. Jump shot from the free throw line was not good. <clears throat> Set offense, running man to man for Jackson. Both clubs historically very sound defense. Sievers up top, 10 on the shot clock. They go into Torrey. Torrey doubles, tries to kick it That's to Klein and wasn't there. Hey, Klein was there, he just wasn't there. When the pass wasn't quite there. Torrey Watkins, his dad, Darren, saying he wasn't happy about <laughs> no. Torrey's uh, performance. So Torrey oh, we got all kinds, of, all kinds of effects, sound effects going. Yeah, when well, you got in the paint down there, I think you need to go up and take the shot. I don't hear, I can't. Yeah. Oh, we're hearing them. Oh, okay. We got a new toy on the uh, on the board here. They're making rattly noise. So this one got off. We were all excited, all the 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 anticipation, and then it's still 2-2 two -two with 4.30 left in the first quarter. No. Looks like a dick. AJ Klein's coming out. Apparently he's uh, bleeding over here in the corner. Okay, so another exchange here. This is a new club. This is Zimmerman, Luke Zimmerman, the 6'4 junior. A lot of height out there. Let's see if this new GP lineup can hold down the Timberwolves here. Armstrong fighting, uh, looking. Bates for three. Not there. Silas with the rebound. The 6'6 junior. That's a nice move off the glass. Do you believe it's only four to two, Scott? I can't. 4.03 left in the first quarter. Sievers works, spins Overshot that too one. much. Armstrong with it. Silas thinking. Turns, flips. Easy. Silas starting to feel the 6 2 Timberwolves. The student section likes it. This place is packed. Davis the other way. Goes under. Domonte just in the game. Can't tell if that hit anything or not, but it's going to stay GP ball and they're going to reset the shot clock here, Ronnie. Yeah, they are. I don't know if it hit the rim or not, but uh, we got new 30. Well, I think this is exactly what oh. the officials are going to go. There we go. We got AJ 
Klein trying to come back in the ballgame now. And looks like Thomas coming back in as well. That's a good sign. There he is. That is a good sign. I don't know how to use it. So. <laughs> <laughs> GP got a set play under the basket. Let's see if they can make it work. So the reset to 12 on the shot clock. Klein three. Bates with the rebound. They didn't reset the set clock. The senior drives until they stop him and a great teardrop. Come on, you know that. Yeah. Always, you got to attack. If nobody comes out on you, keep going. Keep going until you get stopped. Adam Thomas, great to see him back on the floor. Got shaken up earlier. 3 one left in the first. 8-2 oh. Jackson. And he goes right to the lid, but Bates says no, and his uh, knee hurts again, he's down. Here comes Armstrong, back over to Tharp. Tharp turn around, not there. Silas with it, and now Tory Watkins goes up, but we still got an injured. And he tried to give it a go, but Adam Thomas, I'm not sure something's going on. Thomas said to Tilly Sherlin not to call timeout. <laughs> You gotta do something. <laughs> he waved him off, but he finally did call timeout. Normally the referee doesn't listen to the players about that stuff. So Belmonte will check back in. Yeah, I think he's probably pulled something a little bit yeah. there. They're always just a little more excited for Jackson GP. So what a shame there. Bobby, a quick trigger! That's the spark that GP needed to get back in this ball game. Down three with 2.21 left in the first quarter. Evan thinks about it, now drives. Pocket picked. Watkins. Can't get hot. it, gets his own rebound. The glass Goes man. back up he and he That's puts good. it through. Rebound in the basket, number 21. He must have heard me, I said when you get the ball in the paint, shoot it. Now down one, GP, eight to seven, Jackson. Silas, oh yeah. Oh, big You don't want to take me? Seven good. of the 11 for number five, Silas Williams. Lomonte up top. Sievers already one of their leading scorers, rebounders, assist, does everything. Look at that. Oh, I thought that Long looked good. Boy, that looked Davis. good, though. It did, and Davis Somebody's goes in. Gonna he's going to get tagged, yeah. yeah. Probably going to go against Davis, you think? Yep. Yep. Uh, number one, Aiden Davis, his first, team second. Team second, his first. He was frustrated after that didn't drop. Evan Bates takes a seat. And Ryan McFerrin, a big 6-6 six, six sophomore, Ronnie. Going to get a little chance there. I like to see those big 6-6 six, six guys out there. Klein matched up with him. Klein at 6-5. Here's Tharp out corner. There's McFerrin. Oh, and he passes it. And Armstrong wanted the back cut. There's a turnover by the Timberwolves. 113 left in the first quarter. 11-7. Jackson. Aiden Davis, the senior, gets it to Torrey. Cross court, Klein doesn't like it, gets it in center. Torrey fakes, sees Whoa. Klein on. Klein just couldn't hold on to the uh, butter. Yeah. The right idea, nicely, nicely done. Would have been a good assist. Torrey and Klein just not, not able to connect right now. That's a little too hot to handle right there. 52 seconds in the quarter left. 26 now on the shot clock. Armstrong up top. Great defense by Davis. Find Sievers. I got the fans going over there so hard I couldn't hear myself. Armstrong back the other way. Silas, 11-9. Can he get it more? Yes! Do not let Silas Williams shoot. Somebody is feeling it. Oh, wow. Almost didn't get across the line in time there. Nine seconds left in the quarter. Sievers. Belmonte looks at the clock, drop, stop, off the rebound, can't get it. 
Yeah, flies, wow. flies in. After one, Jackson Timberwolves high flying. Silas Williams, two threes. They're up 14 9. We'll be back with a second. We at Gene Johnson are here and ready to help with our touch free service. Being clean and safe are at the top of our minds. We're using gloves, masks, shoe covers, and lots of hand sanitizer. Our software allows us to get your approval without any physical contact. We hope you don't need us, but if you do, we're ready. Gene Johnson, clean, on time, and professional. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. Back here, Glacier Peak High School. Scott Eichmann around the way. Ten Thorn Todd Elvig, Sarah Elvig. Is, this is a barn burner, and both teams playing great. Oh, 14 9, 754. McFerrin still in the ball game. Gets it over. Silas Williams has been on fire. Silas doesn't want to shoot, but look, it's not a lot of. Klein, step yeah. back, Jay. Uh -huh. Just out. Watkins had the rebound tipped out. Sievers makes his case, but it'll say Timberwolves ball. Good thing Klein was close to him, otherwise that might have gone too. Yeah. It did hit the rim, so they get a new fresh 30-second time or shot clock. Vilu. Oh. High. Nice. Not there, but what a rebound. And Belmonte <laughs> draws <laughs> up. <laughs> the little guy. Oh, the big fella brings it down, and Valmonte ties him up. Yep. Cardinal Sin, if you're big and tall, don't bring it down to the little guys. Now we got RPIs out. We got all kinds of different things. The AP came out. These two teams in the top ten. Mariner, though, still outside the top ten, and I think that'll change. Tory from deep. Saw him make those in warm-ups. Uh, he felt it. Not happy. <laughs> You're never happy when you miss a long three. No. Now a little pressure up top here from Belmonte. Reggie the senior. Here's Armstrong. Adley Tharp gets it back around the rim. Top of the key. Tharp led them scoring. And did he hit it? Oh, there's a travel. Ends up with a turnover. So things calming down just a little bit. 6.51 left in the second quarter. 14-9 Jackson. This seems a little slower to you, does it? A little bit. Sievers! There you oh, go. Oh. Oh. Sievers! Boy, does he have a quick release. He does. Well, that's going to keep him in the ball game. He can do stuff like that. <laughs> Williams the other way. Silas tries to drop it low. I think it might be off Klein. Uh, yep. And it is. It's going to stay Jackson Timberwolves basketball. 15 on the shot clock. Plenty of time to set their play up here. Let's see if they can get one in. Oh, there it is right up where it goes. He didn't shoot it, though. Silas, he traveled the 40. I thought so, maybe. But boy, nice touch around the rim, right, Ronnie? Yeah, really nice. That inbounds play to him, he should have. I think it's set up there. He goes and gets the ball and shoots it before he comes down, but he got back down on the court and kind of got confused. Hayden Baxter in the game for the first time for Jackson, 6'4", senior, wearing two on the front of his chest as Davis, the senior, comes up, gives it to Valmonte. Sievers. No, not again. No. Oh, my! And he one. got fouled. Oh, baby! See you, Sievers! Are we going to see our four point shot tonight? His third triple. Wow. 
The three point basket by Bobby Sievers is good. Goes the the foul goes on one. Baxter, his first. Jackson, Jackson's only Harris, team Camp. foul, that's it. First team foul of the night. Sievers is not good. Off oh, the back of the rim. And there's the glass man. Almost. Goes back up, too short. Good defense there by McCarron. Good board though by Watkins. Camp in the ball game. Number 20 for Jackson. Here's Silas. Tough cover. Goes left. Tries to call in, but he steps out of bounds. Sometimes you need a smaller shoe size, Ronnie, when you get around the baseline. <laughs> well, I got Jackson down for five turnovers. Or for, yeah, right now, so that's not helping them any right now. McCarron takes a seat. Evan Bates comes back into the ball game. And Harris Camp, the 6'2 junior there, will sit back for Jackson. Here's Gomonte. Now they run the set. Sievers up top. Baxter on him. This one doesn't go. He's too close to the basket. Oh, that's Camp good. goes down, yeah. and they're going to say oh, it's off Belmonte. It'll stay Jackson ball. And it was off him, but that's. Took five seconds off the shot clock. 5.18 left to go in the first half here. GP with his first lead, 15-14. Driving and one uh, for Below. Gonna go against Klein again. Foul's on number five. It AJ is. Klein, his second, team's third. The Klein, one, second. It's Villu, excuse me, I keep saying his name incorrectly. Bob Blair, the PA announcer, helping it out. Great take there for Wheeler. And he hits it. Three points, play. And now Jackson takes the lead at 17-15 with 5-10 left. Steve Johnson out of your screen now talking to the official. Steve Johnson, head coach of Jackson. I think he wanted to know who had the uh, possession arrow. Seemed to point. Uh, GP got the last one when Velmonte held up Silas. Here's Aiden Davis bringing it down. 5.04 left to go in the first half. Jackson looking for this win. They're one and one. Sievers deep. Not there. He goes to the floor. No call. Here's Silas. Velo. Oh, what a he... move! Were you kidding me? Vilu! That was a spin travel, underhanded layup, roll it in the basket move. Circus coming to town for Vilu. 19 15 Jackson. Sieber's deep three drains it. Oh, keep wow. loading the machine. Back to one point lead here for Jackson. Sievers is gonna. And man. Steve Johnson, he's seen enough. You gotta get a T.O. baby. Yeah. We'll step away, 414 left in the first half. 30 seconds. Bobby Sievers, Ronnie, back here at Glacier Peak High School. 14 unofficial with four behind the arc. 14 of the 18. He is keeping them in the ball game. If you're just joining us, the Phenom freshman Joe Lee was scratched tonight for an illness is what we were told. And he's been dropping 20 plus on average here. So some big scoring has to be made up. You need to get a little more scoring out of Watkins down underneath on the rebounds too. That'll help. There he goes. Look at, oh. Free throw there. Tharp with a big rebound goes into the chest of Klein and it drops it. First bucket of the night for Bradley Tharp. Led them in the loss against Mariner. Mariner 
Steve Johnson telling you, Ronnie, they're better than people even think or know. Yep. It's gonna, time's going to tell that story. There's the three. Didn't take it. Gomati. Soft zone. Sievers working on Tharp. Pushes out. Klein for three. Klein for yes. three. And we're all tied up with 3.25 left in the first I, I didn't know if he was going to shoot a three because they kept leaving him alone out there. Yeah. Yeah, he had shot it and he made it. They might not now. Williams, they give him some breathing room. Finds a cutting. Evan Bates, now he dishes it to Tharp. And Tharp with nice passing there by the Timberwolves. And they take a two-point lead. Under three to go in this first half. Got our fourth lead change here. Oh, that was a carry. Yep. And Watkins on the smaller Armstrong trying to make a move. And it's turnover on the Grizzlies. You can't do that, the Jackson <laughs> fans are saying. And they're right. 2.50 left to go, Evan Bates. I tell you, just always exciting. Doesn't matter whose house it's in. Armstrong drives, stops, pulls up, yeah. but there's going to be a foul there on Belmonte. He can't believe it, Ron. Uh, yeah, he can't. What? I just hit him very hard. Uh, <laughs> That's his first. first. Team's fourth. It's like that's just a rub. It's just a scratch. Henry Armstrong, the six foot senior at the line. And this is the first. If I'm scoring correctly, this is only the second time anybody's been to the line for Jackson here. Having been a lot of fouls as he hits the second. Look at the size of the Jackson it, crowd. Oh, yeah. There's, it's there's, all the way to the top. They have shown yeah. up tonight. 120, 25, 130 people up there. I think there's more than that. Yeah. Well, count them. <laughs> Torrey goes in and is going to call either an offensive charge or yeah, yeah it is on Torrey an offensive charge his first team fifth Torrey frustrated you right fifth. There, there's like 300 people up there yeah I'm going to say that first row there's got 20 in it so. yeah 20 times 10 is the bleachers over there so 200 in the lower level even Bates 217 left in the second quarter Jackson now up by three should be a foul somewhere. What a shot, and Torrey Watkins, the glass man, gets it. Pops it out. What are we going to see here? Look out below. There we go. Basket by number 30, Bobby Sievers. Uh, down by one, second dunk of the night for Sievers. Oh. Spins in the loo. Yeah. And it's an offensive foul. Sievers, it is charged high here at Glacier Peak. Sievers holding the record. They call that for a foul or not? I thought they did, but no. maybe not. Maybe he stepped uh, on the end line. I think they just called it an out-of-bounds play. No foul. Foul came up on the board. But Seavers got fouled, I thought, anyway. They did not. There is not a foul. 24-23, 1.50 left to go in the second quarter. What a game. Davis out front. Now finds Torrey. Torrey. Cross court. Green, Sievers, yep. Thorpe on him, now Torrey, 12, 10 on the shot clock, deep for Davis, now six on the shot clock, tries to dribble down, good defense, and Ballou gets it, and Bates, they turn it over, Tharp on the other side, Armstrong, no, he travels, he travels, he travels, and Silas Williams just looks to the sky like, what am I doing here? Back-to-back -back turnovers here. Minute 16 left. See if GP can get the lead here at the halftime, Scott. Happy feet for Silas Williams. Reminds me of a quarterback who yeah. plays for Seattle <laughs> when he's in the pocket. He, I wonder <laughs> what his name is. I think we're going to need to double mask in here, Dr. Scott. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm in a sealed booth, thank goodness. What just we lost happened? some lights. We lost some lights overhead. Yeah, we did. We lost some lights there. They're now back they're... on. 105 left to go. Down by one is Glacier Peak. Siebers. Siebers. Carrying him with 16 so far in the game. Torrey. Air ball. Air ball. Torrey's just frustrated having a rough night. He's got to let the game come to him. 
And the fans let him hear it. Thor's got two points for the night, but he's not not even close on the three-pointers right now. Still doing a great job on the board. Yeah, that's what he's he's got to do what he does best. Yep. Armstrong with a big fake from the elbow. Too much. Tory wants the bound. Does what he does best, like you Here said. Here comes Watkins. Davis corner baseline looking for somebody. Belmonte outside the arc. Off the rim. Here's Bates the other way. 27 seconds left in the second quarter. Tory with a big pick. Oh, I almost got a turnover. Didn't quite happen. Armstrong back the other way. Valu. Dices. Wow. Big bucket by Valu. DP's got nine seconds, seven seconds left to shoot here. Ten points for Valu. Bobby's got to turn around and shoot the Cut three. Cut it to one. No. And that'll wow. do it for one half of prep for a Wesco basketball and STSVN back with halftime after this. Come with us. The new generation. The next level. Sending it big. Oh my goodness! In for a good run, let's go. Come with us to the track, to the trails, to the slopes, to the surf, to the fight, to the race. Look at this! To the 4 a.m. starts, training harder, pushing further, hitting back, hard. I love it, I get the gang on you. You better pray for it, I put that thing on you. You have to play with it, I like To the fans, to the followers, and the haters. Come with us, to the blood. To the sweat and the broken bones. You rehab. We never quit. We never give up. We take control. To the world titles. To the world's first. The world's best. Come with us. We're just getting started. It's going to be so much fun, I promise you. You can almost smell those fresh ground beans. Airfield Espresso at Harvey Field has been serving delicious cups of gourmet happiness for over 25 years. Excellent service and lasting relationships is their top priority. Stop in and experience the kindness and joy that exude from this special place, one cup at a time. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's.
Christians and apprentices. Working together, learning together, masters of the craft, passing on their skills and knowledge for the trade. I'm Gene Jr. and we are growing fast. As one of the senior techs, I really enjoy sharing and, and teaching, um, really because I'm selfish and it makes me feel good. Getting paid to teach and learn valuable skills that can support your life, family, and dreams. Hi, I'm Renee. I'm an apprentice and I like to learn from all these different plumbers. I want to be a plumber to provide a good lifestyle for myself and for my future dreams. Hot summers in Snohomish County lead to homeowners taking steps earlier each year to keep their home comfortable. If you're thinking about air conditioning for your home, now is the perfect time. Air conditioning costs hundreds less when installed with a new furnace. If you're unsure about the age or dependability of your home comfort system, our consultants will help you determine the best solution. Our experienced technicians make sure our customers are comfortable by keeping their heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical systems working well. But we believe comfort is more than that. We want you to have a comfortable buying experience, to be comfortable with our technicians working in your home, and on top of that, getting a value you're comfortable with. here at Glacier Peak High School. Halftime here, Jackson Timberwolves up 27-23 over the home Glacier Peak Grizzlies. Scott Oshman, Ron the way, Jen Thorns out, Elvig spinning the dials, Sarah Elvig on camera, and Ron, it's, it was a chess match. Uh, Glacier Peak only had one lead in that first half, and they've been hit with some big injuries. If you don't know, Joe Lee, the big freshman, big scoring freshman, out tonight, and then their other senior, Adam Thomas, he went down early, had two points, and he's out. Uh, looks like he'll be out for the remainder of the game with a knee injury. Yeah, it looks like he's going to stay out, but uh, they stayed close all the way through the first half there. But uh, tell me, Scott, what, what impressed you most about uh, each team in that first half there? Well, uh, Glacier Peak side, I mean, it is the Bobby Siebert show. 6'4", senior, he's got 16 and a half. He does. The only, they only got 23. Right. So they are living and dying by Bobby Sievers, and they need more. And I think the, the great senior, Tory Watkins, the glass man, he's trying to do too much on the offensive side, and he needs to probably let the game in. Super impressed with Ballou from Jackson on the other side. He's got 10 so far, along with Silent, Silas Williams. And Silas, he's just smooth at the other side of the pillow, Ronnie. Yep. He's gotten caught with a travel and some, some quick steps. But... I look for Silas Williams to, to continue 
driving Glacier Peak like he's driving everybody else crazy in the league. I think we're going to see some exciting basketball in this second half here for sure. And uh, I want to give a shout out to the unknown uh, parents of the uh, cheerleaders down there. There's 11 of them down there doing yeah, their thing. So Yeah, absolutely. Big shout out to all the cheerleaders, the students out tonight. They, they spend a lot of time helping those girls get to where they are. So. They do. They do. So. Looks like we're going to have a same starting lineup for, for Jackson, but uh, Aiden yeah. Thomas is going to be on the bench for uh, GP. So for Jackson, the Timberwolves, Silas Williams with 10, Ballou with 10, and then Bradley Tharp with 4. Uh, Evan Bates with two, and Henry Armstrong with one free throw on the GP. Again, it's all Bobby Severs with 16. Tory Watkins with two, Adam Thomas with two, and he's now probably not going to play with the injury, and A.J. Klein with a three-pointer. Ron, we were talking, so if I'm Jackson and the great coach Steve Johnson, I just stop Bobby Severs and I win. Yeah, that right now then, then you gotta let somebody else step up and the other great coach ryan hunter saying hey we got to get more people involved well monty now gets it davis yeah. goes in nice feed there pops it out you, you gotta, monty thinks about it, it and Dang. he drains it his first one from three and that's big for reggie Belmonte. he didn't know he could do that i don't think he's tried a couple he was hesitant. He stepped inside the arc, then goes out. Here's Valu. Good looking. Now bounce. Armstrong gets it to go over the outstretched arm of AJ Klein. Henry Armstrong. GP should have had that offensive or defensive rebound there, but didn't quite handle it. Back to three point lead for Jackson. 7 11 left here in this third quarter. Glad you're with us on STSBN. Aiden Davis out, gets it to Torrey. Torrey backs down Armstrong, spins. Touch off the glass! The glass man! That's a good start for Torrey Watkins. That's a play that was set up in the halftime, I think. One point lead now for Jackson Bates. Well, it's Armstrong, oh, runs into each other. 14 on the shot clock, here's Silas. Silas is gonna shoot. Silas yep. with the ISO back to Tharp. Tharp gets underneath too far. Be and they call a foul, I think, on Tharp there, and it's going to be Glacier Peak basketball. Yeah, uh, you're right. five, Silas oh, no, it's on Silas. Only his first foul of the game. And not a lot of fouls. AJ Klein takes a seat. And Peyton, Peyton Bigby's in there yeah, for. Pat. Paxton Bigby, or Paxton, yeah, excuse me. Six-two junior, twenty-four. Got the orange shoes. Here comes Davis, swatted by Silas. Back out though, Tory. Tory doesn't like it. Didn't want that shot. I take that shot. Deep three, front rim. Here comes Valu. Back out to Tharp. Back to Valu. And that's gonna yeah. get the charge from Charge U, Mr. Charge, Bobby Sievers. <laughs> hey, another bruise on his chest. Oh, number one, Billu, his first team second. Oh, that was premeditated. He knew all the way. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand why you have to do that because you you come in you you're like five feet from the basket. You can just pull up and shoot that little jump shot. You gotta go vertical, Ronnie. Vertical. <laughs> yeah. Up and down. Just. I'm bigger than you are. I can do it. Jackson holding on to the one point lead. Here's. Aiden Davis. The Lou the other way, looking for the screen, goes under with Bobby. Sievers launches from anywhere, anytime. Torrey thinks about it, gets Silas to move. Back out nine on the shot clock. Down to five, here comes Davis, and he gets the bucket! His first points of the night. And they take another, their second lead, 30-29, with 5.25 left in the third quarter. Silas, right hand oh, yeah. hook. Abdul Jabbar would like that one, Ronnie. You remember him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right over the top. It's undefendable. He's going to be a nice ball player as time goes on. Jackson up by one. 
Siebers. Siebers and, almost lost it. And they're, they're trying to take him out. Tharp is almost face guarding him. The term you hear in hockey. There's Tari walking, spins! Oh, he oh no, oh Tari. no, he's down with a knee. And they call him for traveling. Oh boy. That is not gonna help GP any. I, Adam Thomas already down with an injury. I even heard that one through my headset, so he hit it pretty hard. How many players do we get to, I mean, well, Hunter's done running a deep bench. He never runs a deep bench. He's got a couple kids up. 31-30 with 4.50 left to go. We'll step away here as they tend to the senior Tory Watkins, the glass man right now, hoping to get back. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. I don't want to do it anyway. No. Here back and Tory boy, he is talk about ginger on that on that ankle. I don't know if it was his ankle or his knee. It, it, he hit the floor hard. I don't know. I didn't see him twist the anything. Number five. Trying to. Yeah, he's kind of walk it off. Yeah, he's <laughs> trying to walk it off. These kids are dying to play. No, they definitely don't want to sit on the bench. I hey, think Hunter's down there waving to you, Ronnie. He's saying, come on down. Yeah. You got to suit you up. You got eligibility left, Ronnie. Yeah, right. I think not. A.J. Klein in the ball game. Up by one is Jackson. Here's Silas Williams on Seavers. Spins him, turns him. In and out. And rebound there by Bigsby. Or Bigby. One of, big. the, one of the few misses by Williams in close like that. Yes. Bigby spins it now. Oh. They're looking. Yeah. Trying to get Sievers on the block. AJ, corner pocket! Six all. A triple for AJ Klein. His second of the night, right? Glacier Peak, their biggest lead, 33-31, with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Williams spins, drops Bobby, left hand, can't get it going. Here comes Lamonte. He's going in the hole. And <laughs> broken up by Armstrong. <laughs> he was going to get fouled no matter what. He knew it, too. Foul's on number three. Foul is on Armstrong. His first, his first foul third. tonight. Go team third. No team fouls for Glacier Peak. Tory Watkins ahead. goes down just minutes ago with 4.50 left in this quarter. And we'll see, keep an eye on him. Belmonte drops it. Into the game for Glacier Peak, number 21. And here comes Tory back Tory Watkins. He's going to try it. Well, I don't know why you take Klein out. He just hit a three ball. I think somebody else out. <laughs> Trey Hawkins. Trey Hawkins checking in. The sophomore 5'10", number 44 for Jackson. Steve Johnson, he twirls him. He puts kids in and out all the time. Second one, now big, the glass man comes up with a big rebound. Just checking back in. Siebers up and under and, you and see in. That move? And GP up by five. Sievers second bucket of, our first bucket of the second half. Full timeout. Full timeout by Steve Johnson and the Jackson Timberwolves. GP up by five. We are all frustrated with the high cost of heating and cooling our homes. At GNS, we are completely changing the way you keep your home comfortable. Because we are Snohomish County's premier Lennox dealer, we can design a perfect system for you. One that will save you a lot of money on your utility bill. The Lennox Home Comfort System creates the ideal home environment. Enjoy innovation in every season with precise, quietly efficient Lennox heat pumps that keep your life simply perfect. Call GNS Heating, Cooling, and Electric today or visit us at gsheating.com.
Back here, Scott Osman, Ron the Wedge, Henthorn, and the gym is getting hot tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Glacier Peak with a big run there, Ronnie. Yeah. Even with the shortened player uh, rotation they've got, they're putting the, putting the points on the board. 3.20 left in the third quarter. Tharp with it on the elbow. He's going to take a jumper, oh. and he's going to hit it. Big bucket there by Bradley Tharp. Brings Jackson in within three. Steve Johnson, a lot of coaching opportunities in that timeout. <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah. That's why you take the timeouts. Sievers. Take it. Drives and pops. Tory Watkins! Three-point basket, number 21. Tory Watkins! Boy, it looked like his ankle or whatever couldn't even come back, and he gets on the floor, gets a big rebound, and hits a huge shot, 39-33 with 2.45 left in the third quarter. Davis! Vilmachi's in with a pickup. Sievers! Davis! Yes! Beautiful play. That was some unselfish basketball right there. You share because you care, Ronnie. 41-33, a huge run by GP, another turnover. Look at this one. Vomati now. Gonna slow it down, maybe? Sievers one on four, Fart picks his pocket. And now it's getting a little soppy. Davis back with it. And he draws the foul from the much bigger Bradley Tharp. Tharp got, thought he got all ball. And Davis will head to the strike. Getting a little crazy down here. It was getting a little Helta Skelta. I, I like Helta Skelta. <laughs> That's Dark's first foul, fourth team foul as Davis hits the first. Drill and Villu back in the ballgame had a great first half, 10 in the first and was a spark for the Timberwolves. And he gets it to 10. That is the biggest lead of the night, right? Unbelievable. Troy Hawkins there, 44 with it. Now Armstrong back out on Bigsby. Oh, a slick pass to Williams. And Williams just puts it up. What Clever. a pass, a behind the back, no look pass. Behind his back and behind two GP backs. Man, he just raises that ball up and taps it in from right over the top of it. It's him. nice when you're 6'6". Six, six. Davis back out. Nope. Here's Bigby. Silas, good box out there on Watkins. Here comes Ballou back out. Armstrong. Silas, that's a two. Not there, but Thorpe is there for the pickup, and he gets the foul and one on Reggie Belmonte. Uh, number 22, Reggie Belmonte, his second, second foul on Reggie. Game. The basket by number four, Bradley Tharp is good going. Bradley Tharp starting to heat up, and here he is for the three-point possibility here, old-fashioned way, and it's not there. Torrey with a big rebound. Six point separation here for GP. Come in on a one minute left to go in this third period. What a third quarter for Glacier Peak. Big run here and taking the lead. Lazy pass, Silas gets in between. Silas doing it all. And a travel, that's probably the third travel call on Silas Williams as he looks over to his head coach. Yeah. Well, he almost turned it over without traveling and then he traveled anyway. Now some pressure, Armstrong gets in there and there's a whistle before as we had a substitution, but we have somebody at the scoring oh, got, table. Uh, looks like we got something going on down there. Discussion here. I think we're at almost capacity crowd over here on the parent side. It could be. I see you scoop back and see Yeah, no <laughs> one's around me though. That's all I care about. Nobody's around me. Well, we're all tested up here, so. There's another four or 500 parents out here, right? Bill Monty bringing it in. Aiden Davis again. Joe Lee not available this evening for Glacier Peak. 
So Davis getting time and Adam Thomas out in the first half of an injury. Bigsby gets it! Bigsby! The three-pointer is ruling this ball game. Hawkins got it. There's a whistle here. We have a pointing out to the to the other side of the court. Not sure what the call was there, why we stopped play. I'm not sure either. Boy, all these Glacier Peak kids, they just come in and hit threes. Armstrong, he's pressure defense yeah. there by Davis. Steve Johnson wants him to call a foul yeah. on that. Walk's <laughs> not moving though, 29 seconds and no clock. Now it's down to 20 with that, a foul call. That's gonna go against uh, GP. Number one, Aiden Davis, his second, team second. His second, team second. Uh, Davis was claiming he elbowed him, but. Jackson gets the ball with, we'll see, no, no shot clock. 20.8 is on the board for the third quarter. Silas drops it into Armstrong and one. What a bucket and a pass by Silas. And Armstrong finishes. Six points for the senior Henry Armstrong here. Only had one in the first half. There's a conversation with the officials now. Yeah, good. Evan and Tony Trillin having a little uh, discussion. They probably decided where they're going to go to dinner afterwards. Maybe, or did the count? It was an and one. I don't know if this is the time down 16.3. When they inbounded the ball, Ronnie, the clock did not start, but then all of a sudden it went from 29 to 20 seconds. The basket is good. Oh, technical. Oh, a technical foul. And. We're going to call it technical against the coach. That's good. Technical foul called on the Glacier Peak bench. Oh, on the Glacier Peak That's bench. Good. Technical That's foul good. on the Glacier Peak bench. And now we got an out of your screen. So Silas Williams at the line. Gets it, rolls it in. You know what I like? That kid does not get rattled, Ronnie. He is cool yeah. as a cucumber. Look at the whole Jackson fans over there cheering him on. Can't get that one. Now Jackson will get the ball. They close the lead to six with 16.3 left to go in this third quarter. You know, we got headsets on and my ears were still hurt. Oh yeah, it is, it is a loud gym here for tonight. It's like uh, going to a Seahawks game on TV. Loud. So Trey Hawkins will take it out for Glacier, for, excuse me, for Jackson on the other side of the court. You see Peters across there. Lance. Actually. He's watching those, uh, his students. He's he like, is. don't be doing nothing. Great, yeah. great guy, great administrator, long time we here. Got, we got oh, the, Tony Trillin oh, down here in, uh, <laughs> Hunter's in gonna get face. Hunter's going to get tossed out, man. No. And there's some heated conversation as we turn the camera there. Yeah, Tony didn't even have his mask on. He doesn't have it on now either. I guess he's playing without it. I guess the refs don't need a mask. Well, they're not wearing No, they get the tested court. just like the kids do every other day. Hawkins gets it into Armstrong. Clock, there he goes, 12 seconds. 10, Silas on the elbow. Finds the loo. Got it! Clutch bucket by Valu. Two seconds. Oh. Oh. Bobby almost hit it. A highlight right there. Yeah. So we end three. Glacier Peak comes back and gets the lead up six going into the fourth. Do not go anywhere. You can almost smell those fresh ground beans. Airfield Espresso at Harvey Field has been serving delicious cups of gourmet happiness for over 25 years. Excellent service and lasting relationships is their top priority. Stop in and experience the kindness and joy that exude from this special place, one cup at a time.
McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. Back here, my correction there. It's 46-42. The scoreboard a little delayed here at Glacier Peak. The GP outscoring uh, Jackson 23-15 to in that third period. So yeah. we we'll get a big fourth period coming up. We'll see who can outscore who in this period with a four-point differential here. Boy, it's worth the price of admission tonight, huh? This is a tremendous game. You're getting complimentary wherever you're watching on STSBN. Armstrong, Tharp's been outstanding this second half. He's got the ball. Looking for somewhere, now they get Silas. Sievers on him, they double, Bigsby. Front rim. That was a nice turnaround, just wasn't quite enough left for him. That Aiden, guy's amazing. Aiden Davis bringing it down, Armstrong on him. Bigsby having to play some big minutes tonight as Adam Thomas has gone down. We've seen Tory Watkins limp off and come back. And Davis in the trees. Yep. It don't matter. Davis likes to drive the basket, doesn't he? And and that's going to go on Armstrong, his second foul. Team foul five, Davis. Three for three, one more to go for 100%. 7.19 left to go in this ball game. And he does it. Money from the Sprite. Here's Hawkins taking it the other way. 48-42, Glacier Peak. Start. Drives in, cool pass to Hawkins, and he's Absolutely right there good. for the gimme. Great assist. First points of the night. GP's lead is now four. 6.52 left in the game. Sievers drives, drops it. Hawkins not there. Bigsby tries to get any hands up in his hands, but there's a whistle. A foul is going to be called And it's say Bigsby got in there. That be on Bigsby? That might be on his shoes. <laughs> oh. So bright. He's on Watkins. <laughs> he said, right? Now, yeah. hold on now. Yeah. Who'd they call oh. it on? They got in the board Reggie Belmonte. Yeah. They, his third. I think, so, I think they called it on Watkins, but I don't know. Well, maybe they did call it on him. Back here, though, 6.30 left in the game. Jackson, they need a bucket. Watkins, or Hawkins. Tharp ends up with it. Tough pass to Silas. God, this is going to get carried. Oh, oh my goodness. And Big B. Big B takes a bruise on the chest from Silas. And a charge on five. I don't know. That's a tough call right there. I replayed it. I think it was uh, fairly valid. Yeah, I think he did. Not that I was down there. But. Second on Silas Williams, the 6'6 junior. Meanwhile, GP trying to build that lead. They're 2-0. Oh. They're tied with Mariner and Wesco. Armstrong the other way. And it's going to be Jackson. Belmonte got a hand in there, and it slowed down the pass from Armstrong. Is that his fourth? That is his fourth. A reminder, Glacier Peak, here's Klein going to check in, AJ, and they'll sit Belmonte. So it did give him that foul down there a while ago. 6.01 left to go in the game. Jackson held the lead the first half and into halftime and then the third quarter. Here's Hawkins not 
there. And a big rebound there by Klein. Trying to get Silas Williams involved on the offensive side there for Jackson. Big B. Bobby. Bobby had a huge first half. Tory. Oh, and Tory. Lost the handle there. Tried to flip it out to the corner, but it's a turnover and it's costly there for Glacier Peak. And Brian Hunter wants to talk about it with 5.27 left to go. Man. We at Gene Johnson are here and ready to help with our touch-free service. Being clean and safe are at the top of our minds. We're using gloves, masks, shoe covers, and lots of hand sanitizer. Our software allows us to get your approval without any physical contact. We hope you don't need us, but if you do, we're ready. Gene Johnson. Clean, on time, and professional. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience. And Jolie, though. Back here, Scott Oshman, Ron Hentor, Glacier Peak High School. As usual, as advertised, a thriller, and all of a sudden what there's a whistle because the now? clock did not, there's a clock error there. Clock got to start. Yeah, it didn't start. And They shouldn't have gone with the cheap clock. They should have gone with Dactronics. <laughs> you know, that's a long story. Bates in there and he gets it out to Armstrong. So Bates, Silas Williams, Tharp, and Valu, the starters for Jackson here. Try to run a good set here. 12 on the shot clock. Silas in. Single hook. Oh. And it is good. Money. Big bucket for Silas at 17 for the junior Silas Williams. Back to two-point differential here. GP still holding that lead lightly. Big V. Oh, Sievers, no. and that's blocked by Thorpe. Great defense. Ballou under the basket. A collision. And he's going to call it on. Is that on Big V? They call it on Big V. No, no. other way. I call it on. Uh, oh, my goodness. Ballou. It's an offensive charge. Oh, my. And the Jackson kids do not like it. The parents don't like it. Meanwhile, nobody's coming Johnson to help Dave like Davis. It. Johnson's going nuts. I think it could have gone either way. They both collided, so I'm not sure. That was dicey, 440, but we're way up here. Brandon Mullen thought it was a charge, so that's what it's going to be. So now, though, that puts Jackson, or puts GP in the gym bonus because it's seven on them. Davis! Tory Watkins picks up the garbage! The glass man! Four point lead now with 4.16 left. Tharp double team. Silas thinks about it. Evan Bates. 10 on the shot clock. Deep from Armstrong. And oh, we have the whistle. Dropped. And a uh, push call. That's going to go against. Is that against Ballou? Ballou again, I think, yeah. That should be his third. Uh, number one, Dylan Villu, his third. Villu. Ballou. It's Villu, Scott. He's talking about it. He's getting some some so one. that does put hey, hey, GP hey. in the bonus with four minutes to go yep. in the ball game. And it puts a very good free throw shooter, Aiden Davis, at the line for Glacier Peak. Yep. And he hits it. Five for five. Are we good for six? Without the freshman Joe Lee. Stop talking about it. Adam Thomas down. Great opportunity, go. great experience for these kids. 
And big buckets there for Davis. Four minutes with a six-point lead here. A lot can happen in this ball game. Jackson. So many strong. games is playing without key players in this era right now. Is Armstrong 344 left? Tough shot wow. by Armstrong. Nine for him. Trying to cut into that lead. 332 left in the game. 52-48 Glacier Peak. Sievers. He was playing guard out there. Bigby, tough shot corner, not there, Tharp. Not sure that was a good shot. Didn't drain a lot of clock. Here's Armstrong, he's feeling it now. And he gets it, that's a deuce. And I don't know if the scoreboard, what? Yeah, it's 50-52, brings it to two. The delay on the scoreboard is going to drive me batty. <laughs> Sievers driving Thorpe Batty, and he finishes as an and one. Sievers. It is. Sievers decided to score some more this fourth period. He's been quiet the Foul second half, the only his second seven. bucket in the second He's half. Nice. The basket counts by number his, 30 by his. Sievers. But none and bigger one. there with 253 and left, and the foul's going to go on Tharp, his second. Nine team fouls for Jackson. Doesn't hit that one. Torrey with a big rebound. That's going to help GP a lot. Pressure way outside. Here's Sievers wants Sievers. to play outside and drive oh. the basket. He Look out, youngins. Oh, Sievers almost good. got that. Silas. Here's an easy two. There it is. Bellew with a huge make there with 222 left. Jackson still in it. There's a lot of time left for this ball game. Two point ball game and Brian Hunter wants a timeout, a 30 second timeout. Quickly we'll step away, pay some bills and come back. Take part. We're here to take over. I am the beast. We gotta go POG. Which way are you going? Well, we can talk about we're that. We're back. Later. Ronnie bringing up the POG. I think, yeah, I think we're a long ways away from that. Well, we right gotta now. see yeah. what happens here. We got, I mean, we got lots of leaders on both teams here. Yes, we do. I mean, Henry Armstrong, the six foot uh, junior, he has been tremendous this second half, hitting just clutch bucket after clutch bucket. Two-point lead for Glacier Peak. 2.15 left to go in the ball game. Aiden Two Davis. points. Wow. Aiden breaks it down. He has room. Tough shot. Bounces, and Silas gets the rebound. They're going to call A.J. Klein. Davis almost went outside. He hit the outside door and opened it up. He almost did. Going to be on Klein is third. That's the team sixth. That's important, but here's Jackson. Chance to either tie or take the lead with two minutes on the clock. Belmonte checks in for AJ Klein. Yeah, I would not take Klein out even though he has three fouls. <laughs> you never, you'd never take him out. Well, I, you're a big man. He's a yeah, three-point shooter. He's got shooter. a lot of size and defense. Here's, here's Armstrong. Silas looking for somebody, gets a pick. Now he drives on Sievers, holds it, and he gets it, and it's tied up with 1.45 left. It's gonna come down to the last few seconds of this ball game, I'm sure. I think we're gonna break the internet with this game. Aiden Davis. Gotta get it moving. Velu. Davis breaks him down. No call, it skips out of bounds. It's gonna stay Glacier Peak ball. No Shot foul clock either. Oh, no down foul. to eight. No foul either way though. Bleeds 121 left to go in the game. You got 
And Steve Johnson, he yeah. wants to set his defense. Yeah. We are all tied up here with 121 left to go. Quick break from our friends at Airfield Espresso. You can almost smell those fresh ground beans. Airfield Espresso at Harvey Field has been serving delicious cups of gourmet happiness for over 25 years. Excellent service and lasting relationships is their top priority. Stop in and experience the kindness and joy that exude from this special place, one cup at a time. One twenty-one left in the ball game. Big Wesco 4A matchup, crosstown, down the street rivalries, I would say. The Jackson Timberwolves, the Glacier Peak Grizzlies. It just rarely disappoints as an entertaining, unbelievable game on any surface, any field, anywhere. Here we go, Ronnie. All right. All tied up. Sievers, Tharp, spins. No good, but Watkins with the rebound, puts it back up, blocked by Sark. Didn't go. Had the ball, did make it. Jackson's turn to see if they can take the lead. Clock down to 107 on one board. Silas in the front. Silas is going to take the shot. For the lead. Sievers, one-on-one, -on -one, gets a little step, and it's not there. Belmonte, back down to Bigby. No. Davis for the three. Silas with a rebound, 44 seconds left. It could have happened. Going to be a timeout again here. Yeah, for Jackson. Steve Johnson wants a 30 second timeout. A full timeout called by Jackson. Set up a set play here. We'll step away real quick. McDaniels do it center. Somebody's got to do it here. McDaniels Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniels the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniels and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniels. Give me a tough call. Back here, 42.1 seconds left. What a tremendous game. Jackson Timberwolves crawl their way back. They had a 10 point deficit at one point in the third quarter with a big stretch there by Glacier Peak. Coming out of halftime down by four. And Ronnie Jackson done a tremendous job here, tying this one up with 42.1 and the ball. I think uh, Jackson with the ball here, if, if they make this basket, it's going to be really tough on GP to. Nine back. team fouls on Jackson, all six team fouls on Glacier Peak. That could be important as a stretch. Armstrong with the rock. Looks like they're going to run some clock out. They're not in a hurry. Back out. Evan Bates in the ball game. Bates down low, gets caught, and he turns it over with Aiden Davis. Oh, Evan Bates got caught on the baseline with nowhere to go. This is the ball game. They make this basket. They win. If they don't, we're an OT, baby. 17 seconds, no shot clock. He's playing for the winner, OT, one of the two. Who's Eight. going to take the shot? Six seconds. Siebers now spins, double team. Klein for three and the win. He yes! got it. The fans are on the floor. I can't believe it. How about we give that to Klein? Go get him. Huh? Give it to Klein. Go get him, Ronnie. AJ Klein, the 6 5 C. Hurry up. Hurry up. Where are they? Number five. He's our adrenaline fundraising player of the game. Of course he is. 
the dagger, the game winner. Let's see that again in slow motion. He had just gotten back in out of the timeout. He came in on substitution. There it is. A long three ball for the win. No time on the clock. And Glacier Peak wins this 57-54. And they go to 3-0 and in league play. And Jackson with an unbelievable effort. Goes to one and two in league. 10 and three overall. And the Grizzlies will go to nine and one overall. As you can see, the crowd. What a unbelievable finish. Once again, Jackson GP. They deliver on entertainment value. And AJ Klein's coming up for our interview as our adrenaline fundraiser player of the game. The other way around, right here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. First time. AJ, what's up? <laughs> AJ Klein, our adrenaline fundraiser, player of the game. AJ, how many times have you hit that shot in the backyard, Dude, in the park? That's what you dream of. That's what. You, that's what. That's what you dream of shooting your yard and shit. Oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> you, you go in, you hit threes. By the way, all you do is threes. They, they, they were disrespecting me. They were slacking off. I know I know. his coach told, told number five to let me shoot. I hit three. So, like, it's whatever. So, Just. walk us through. You come in in the first half, you hit threes. You got some injuries. Then, coming down the stretch of the fourth quarter, they substitute you for Velmonte. Then, out of the timeout, when there's nothing but four sec six seven seconds left, you get back in the ball game. Did you know you were going in? Uh, so we, we ran that we ran that press and we run that I'm up on the top because I'm low and I can get those tips. We were just trying to force something and we did. Well, we got the steal on the baseline and we came down and we one shot and we just hit a good shot. I hit it. So <laughs> yeah, uh, tell me, AJ, when you let this that ball, did you know it was going in? Oh, 100. percent I told I told some dude in the corner. He's like he's like you're gonna hit this. I'm like yeah, yeah. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's confidence for you, buddy. AJ trash talking Klein. Look at you, baby. That's a huge win. Hold that shirt up in front of you, man. You come oh. into tonight, right? You got Bigby playing. You got kids who haven't played a lot, right? Your boy Joe Lee's out tonight. Yeah. Thomas takes a hit and hopefully he's okay. He's out. I mean, what are you thinking coming the second half? What did coach talk about? What did you guys talk about down four? I mean, Hunter always tells us to fight through adversity, and we had some adversity. But Paxton stepped up huge, took a charge, hit a three. Yeah, he might have took two charges on the hill. That kid played out of his mind. For a half time, a half time coaches yelling at him to get ready and stuff, and Paxton, Pax, he got ready. He, he stepped up big. We had guys step up big. Oh, God. That Unbelievable. The senior, you had senior night tonight with your folks. Tell me, I Dave, mean, Dave, this Dave. is the, t the only kids dream about this, hitting that. Yeah. Is this your folks down here? Yes, uh, that's my dad, that's my mom. They're taking all the pictures of you down here? Yeah. <laughs> we played the replay in slow mo, and it was money when it left oh, your I, hand. Yeah, I, I knew that was going in the second it left my hand. An absolute dagger. We'll hold the shirt up. You did all that. Congratulations, our adrenaline fundraiser. Player of the <laughs> game, you already that did that. Hold, hold it up for your mom. It's mayhem here. It's a all GP right. gym. There we go, everybody. Scott, what a ball game. No time left. AJ claimed the, claimed the dagger to Thanks win it. Congratulations, man. Thank you, guys. Great Thanks job. Lot, Thank you, guys. You go on to Mariner next week. That'll take you in there. They got a tough game on Tuesday coming up against their rival now, uh, the Mariner Marauders. And, Ronnie, we've done a lot of games. we got a lot of games, a lot of good games, and a lot of exciting games, but none probably as exciting as the end of this one was. <laughs> I can't believe it. In fact, the fans can't believe it. As they're waiting down, A.J. Klein, he gets sparing minutes. He's in for two minutes, then he gets off. Yep. And when you're, you wanted him in the whole time, Ronnie. Didn't I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Sure. Bobby Sears. Yeah, but didn't, didn't, we call, didn't we call it early on? They were way letting him shoot, right? Yeah, they, they didn't think he was awesome. going to shoot. He only took three shots tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He only took three. And they all went in. And they all went in, none bigger 
And then with the time running out, he wins the ball game for the Grizzlies, 57-54. Bobby Sievers had a tremendous night with 20. He could have been our game pl uh, player of the game. And Silas Williams, Henry Armstrong, how about the kids from Jackson? They yeah. took a punch and they got right back up. Silas Williams with 19 and uh, Valu with 14. Armstrong with nine and Tharp with eight. They had a balanced scoring going on there and they did everything but win the ball game, Scott. If you did like this, how about February 4th when these two meet again? There you go. That's my birthday. Is it? There you go. There it is. All right. Well, for Ron the Wedge Hentorn, Todd Elvig, the five-tool player, and great job as always, Sarah Elvig on camera. Scott Oshman saying so long. Oh, my. 57-54 Glacier Peak. Stay tuned for more great hoops on STSPN. Good night, everybody.